What's going on you guys? Six Shot Four here with a brand new Bounty Hunter series and Red Down Online. Uh, I figured it would be a cool idea if I just realistically hunted bounties uh, in Red Dead Redemption because usually players just kind of blow through them and don't really look at it. They just do it for the money and the gold. So uh, I figured we put a little different spin on it with this series. I hope you guys really enjoy it. Um, yeah guys, let's get started with the first bounty. Alright, so this is going to be I guess a nighttime patrol because it is pretty dark out here. Uh, but today we're in Armadillo. Uh, going to kind of be... Run oh, became defensive. Okay. Uh, we're in Armadillo, so uh, we'll be doing some bounties around this area in New Austin. I really like this area. It's it's, it's definitely one of my favorites, uh, just because it's from the old game. It's pretty nostalgic. So yeah, let's uh, let's check out the bounty board. Missing one. So we can do this one reward for the killers of the bill of the killers of Billy Miles or uh, Lewis and Heath or Lewis Heath and Thomas Hale, which they pay way more. So I guess let's do that. Uh, the bootleggers, Heath and Hale, are on are on the lam after a shootout with police in the outskirts of San Denis to be considered highly armed and dangerous. So that's going to be a uh, pretty good one right there, I guess. Yeah, let's take that one. Let's see where they're at. Alright, we'll hop on uh, old Fitz. Let's see where we're heading out. Headed to a hideout. Which hideout? Ah, oh, they're up in Twin Rocks. It's always a fun one. Yeah, guys, I think this series is going to be pretty neat. I hope you guys really do enjoy it. Um, so basically what I'm going to be doing is not just blowing through these missions. I'm actually going to do a little scouting and everything and try to make it more fun for you guys to watch. So uh, it's not just all running and gunning. I'm going to be doing a little little surveillance, uh, seeing, seeing what's going on and everything. So apparently these two guys are armed and dangerous. If they're at Twin Rocks, they're probably going to be with a gang. So uh, we got a little shootout ahead of us. It's pretty dark. I think it's getting on... Maybe 9, 10 o'clock at night. So, uh, the darkness will kind of hide us a little bit, but Twin Rocks is where I'm trying to think the Ballard, the Ballard gang, maybe from the first game. I think they this is what this was their hideout in the multiplayer. You could come here and redo the hideouts over and over, which I really enjoyed that part of the first game. The second game, we didn't really have that. Well, they show up rarely, but um, you could just kind of do them over and over in the first game. All right, we're coming up on it. Let me put a... Let me, put this light out because I don't want him just to be able to see me. We'll head over here. Alright. It's kind of dark. Okay. Pull out the old binoculars see what we got going on. Oh, fuck. There's a shitload of them for real. I've got at least eight guys. Eight, ten guys guys on the roof. Is there any snipers up here? And there's not. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm sure there's guys on the inside too. Alright, so this is going to be pretty fun right here. I'm actually going to take, let's take the bolt action with us. And there's two guys. I'm going to try to capture them alive. So I'm going to send my horse on out of here. We really need to get that bounty wagon, so let's go ahead and call it in. Stables, vehicles, own vehicles. Let's get the bounty wagon out here. Where's it gonna spawn? Of course it's gonna spawn way in bumfuck nowhere. All right, now that we got the wagon with us, let's go ahead and pull up over here. I don't think uh, that the strategy of me just walking in and asking them to give up, I don't think it would work. I think they'd kill me on sight. So, ooh, let's slow down a little bit. Just a little. I don't want her to see me yet. Okay. Alright, these guys are armed and dangerous. They're no stranger of getting in a shootout with the police. So let's see. Let's get up on this rock, get a little bit of a little bit of cover from this rock. Let's just start firing. Uh, they don't know where it's coming from right now. Yeah, they do. Ooh, I miss that one. This rock's kind of taking the blunt of the damage. I think I'm looking for a white guy and a black guy. I hope I don't just shoot him. I'm gonna be pretty upset. Uh, all right. Okay. Is that all the guards on the outside? Damn. Alright, 
I guess these guys are on the inside. Oh shit, yeah, they're in here. Guy coming around the corner. Oh shit. These guys are coming up from everywhere. Alright, we gotta get in there. Let's see if we can get the doors open. Oh, I don't wanna kill him. Oh shit. Let's see if I can incapacitate him. Oh, run the gut. Oh yeah, oh yeah, his partner can't save me. Alright buddy, this is gonna work one of two ways. Oh yeah. Your ass is getting shot and you're going to jail. Somebody's fixing to run in here. He didn't want none of this. This dude's almost halfway dead. Alright. We'll get these guys on the bounty. I got seven minutes to get them back. Alright. Get your ass back there. Pull out this rifle. Could get, get my hands on this other guy. I think he's got let loose in here. I'm just gonna go in and attack him. Oh! Oh, yeah. He's filling that bullet from earlier. I'm thinking about it, buddy. Yo ass is going to jail. Right, let's bounce out of this. Let's bounce this bitch. Alright, where's this guy at? Because I don't want to get shot loading this son of a bitch up in the wagon. He's running. Oh shit. Alright, I gotta get the sucker back in. Oh my gosh. Damn! Alright, we gotta get the fuck out of here. It's just gonna be more and more. Alright. Wasn't so bad. That was the hard part. Surviving. <laughs> surviving on the way back. Because usually they send guys after us. Alright, I would say this is a pr pretty successful bounty right here. I wish they had a whole system uh, where you would turn them in and you could see them actually hang. Or however they get rid of them if they just serve their jail time. Which these guys are shot the cops. They're most definitely either gonna hang or be shot by firing squad. But it would be cool to be able to watch that because you know, this game was so hindered on realism. Realism. So, all right, we're in the town. No one's following us. Hell yeah. We'll just pull up and unload them here. Hell yeah. That was pretty good right there. Alright, uh, two bounties in, and we got paid pretty handsomely for it. Uh, I'm, just, I'm gonna do two bounties this episode, because it's gonna be kinda cut short, but I'll do it in the morning, because it's pretty dark out right now. So, uh, I guess, I guess I'll, uh, I'll see you in the morning time. Alright, uh, I think it's rolling around about 6 right now. Got a pretty heavy fog going on, so... We've actually got two more bounties. And uh, this bounty board will be cleared out, so... Let's see. So, the killers of Benny Miles. Uh, believed to be the brother and sister they are wanted for kidnap and murder of Sweet Billy Miles. A boy of... Oh, damn. A 10-year-old boy. They killed him. I wonder... In what in God's name would make him kill a 10-year-old, but... Uh, that's not for me to know, but it's uh, for me to take these some bitches to jail. So, 
Let's see where they're holed up at. They're at a camp. How far away is their camp from here? Oh, it's damn pretty far away. Alright, uh, we've got a pretty damn good ride ahead of us, so... I'm actually just going to probably skip there a little, little montage. So, guys, I'll, uh, I'll see you when we get to the camp. I think we're coming up on the camp it may be up on that hill uh, but just to give you guys a refresher give you a rundown on the target so we're looking for a brother and sister they don't look too pretty so they're gonna be pretty raggedy hopefully they're just on the run by themselves and this is an easy little takedown here um, sometimes they won't even put up a fight if you just wave a gun in their face threaten them a little bit they'll uh, they'll come pretty easy but we'll see let's play it cool let's just ride by them they might not fire on us we don't think we're after them. Just play it cool. Oh, shit. Alright. They have a whole gang with them, so this is going to be, uh... It's going to be interesting here. Circle around the rocks. Whip this bitch up on the hill. Alright. So this isn't going to be as easy as I thought it was because they've got a whole freaking crew with them. I just really want to identify the targets before I just start shooting. Now let's see. Looks like a girl right there. Damn shrubs in the way. Alright. Let's get, some, let's get behind some cover before we just start plowing in. Use this rock as a little bit of cover. Alright. That's the target right there in the black. So I do not want to shoot him in the face. Oh shit, here we go. Oh yeah, he's running. I think that's her. I don't want to shoot her. Throw a little dynamite in the equation. My shots are off. Let's move in a little bit. Another one down. Alright. Yeah, they run when their friends ain't around. Alright, got two runners. Alright, let's see if we can get on this hill. We may have to kill one of them. Oh shit, she is far. Son of a bitch. Alright, this is no bueno right here. Got him! Alright, we gotta go to this one. Alright, fuck. This is where I uh, should have had a horse at. One's down, the other one's running. If I can just get a visual on her, she won't escape. I don't know if any of them shots uh, connected. Damn, I didn't want to kill that bounty. Keep calling the wagon, see if it'll come. She definitely ran this way. She hauled ass. I just don't see her. I got footsteps or anything? I 
think we lost that one. Alright. Well, one bounty's not too bad. He's freaking dead, though. That's the only thing that sucks. I'll tell you what, if I, if I wouldn't have got that last shot on him, he would have been gone. Because I don't, I don't have any means of chasing him at that point, because I didn't have my horse. Oh, yeah. Buzzards are getting him. Let's go check him out. Right in the damn lung. This is him, one fugitive. Let's see what he's got on him. A little bit of cash. Come on, buddy. Your damn sister wasn't as lucky as you. She'll be off. Um, hell, her whole gang's gone. It's just her. On her own. Damn, he got blood all over my fucking jacket. Alright, we'll take him to uh, Sheriff Freeman over in Tumbleweed. Not a bad day. So that's what? We got two fugitives, two alive, one dead, and one escaped. So I guess it was a kind of shitty day. But, on the bright side, these guys won't be uh, messing with anybody any longer. And if it was my money who killed that 10-year-old, it was probably this guy. I don't think women are that violent. Well, hell, I don't know back in the 1800s. They could have been fucking savages. Alright. He'll be happy to see, uh, see this one gone. Alright. Sit you out over here, let you dry. That was ass right here on the dirt where he belongs. Well, I guess that draws a line under that one. Here's what we're paying for corpses. Well, Alright guys, I appreciate you watching. I hope you tune into the next one. Hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed it. Uh want more, because I'm definitely gonna keep pumping this out. I really enjoy doing this. Uh, especially these bounties. It kind of lets you uh, be a little more creative when you're when you're just free roaming around and everything. So, yeah, guys. Again, hit that like, subscribe button. Thank you. I'm out.